how's it going everybody so this week i went diving in samburgita which is south of darwin it's the jump off point to the famous upper island the well-known dive site in the visayas and even next to the little harbor from where the public boats go to upper island uh, is fantastic diving and it's this kind of muck diving where you're looking around in the sand you know there might be coconut shells and you know maybe a little bit of plastic trash but within that is fantastic marine life so among other things what i saw were two flying gunners and i saw a juvenile which you can see here and i saw an adult fish which you can see later these are called flying of course because of their curious pectoral fins now i believe these pectoral fins serve two purposes so first of all there's a signal so you can see the coloration on these fins they probably serve as some kind of warning to predators i'm assuming that these gunners are fairly spiky spiny and i do believe that they serve a certain hydrodynamic purpose so I never intend to scare marine life, though. I, I was not chasing these, but as soon as they saw me, they started uh, taking off very quickly, and they went in circles trying to get away from me. So I really only had to rotate in place with my camera to film these gunners, and eventually they took off after a minute or two. Now, what tells me that these fins have a hydrodynamic role is that they have had them stretched out. They had them extended while they were swimming as fast as they could with undulations of their caudal fin, of their tail fin. I do think that they're acting like a wing, like usually much larger fish do. I have another video about the Reynolds number in fish swimming. I've linked to that. I think these fish can use their fins as wings because they're very close to the substrate. So they're within the boundary layers. And that, in terms of hydrodynamics, in terms of the Reynolds number, probably makes them bigger fish than they actually are. So I hope you enjoyed this. And let's look at the taxonomy. Okay, as usual, when dealing with a fish, I would like to encourage you to look it up on Fishbase, which is a fantastic database about all fishes, marine and uh, freshwater. So you can get to the flying gunnet, Dactylopterus volitans, and you will see where it stands taxonomically. So it's in, within the flying gunnets, the family, and within the flying gunnets, the order. So then we can look at the order summary for these flying gunnets. We see there are the flying gunnets, unsurprisingly, and the sea moths. So maybe you have seen a sea moth during some of your muck dives. And uh, so this is not a close relative, but a relative of these flying gunnets. And it kind of makes sense if you look at these fan like pectoral fins, which the sea moths also have. And then we, we, we get to a overview page also for the family of the flying gunnets, the Dactylopteridae. We can get a list of all the flying gunnets, which are known to science, which are only seven, which are not many. And yeah, every time you go to fish base, I learn something. I recommend that you use it. <laughs> 